What's up everybody? I'm going to be doing a four day trip in Mammoth out of Convict Lake. We're going to be hiking Convict Canyon. By we I mean me and my girlfriend. Uh, four nights, five days, five lakes, Convict Lake, and then Mildred, Dorothy, Genevieve, Edith, and Cloverleaf. Um, around 25, 20, maybe topping out at 28 miles round trip. It's an in and out, it's not a loop <clears throat> or a through. A lot of my friends have been asking me over the winter or they've really been interested in camping and um, they want to know what I bring so I thought I would do a video for them and all of you. Um, this pack right here is exactly what I'm bringing. It's all the water, all the food, everything. Um, tops out at uh, 35 pounds. Um, that might be heavy for some people but for me 35 pounds is no big deal. I've done it plenty of times. It's comfortable for me and I bring luxury items um, and that's what makes me comfortable. If you like lightweight, do it. If you like heavier, whatever you like, bring it. There's no real wrong thing. You can overpack, but typically you want to bring what's comfortable for you. There's nothing in here I don't use. I have whittled it down through um, all of the hiking trips that I've done to everything that I need. So this is what it is. Started off with my clothes, um, of course, just some compression shorts. You don't want to wear regular boxers or any kind of cotton, breathable compression shorts, whatever brand you like, doesn't matter. These are champion. Um, so that's those. Uh, footwear, don't ever skimp on your footwear. It's super important to take care of your feet. So you're going to have to pay for the shoes and you're going to have to pay for the socks. Um, don't wear cotton, you will destroy your feet and make sure you get shoes that fit you right and they're gonna be pricey, that's just how it is. Um, these happen to be Solomon's. These are the XA Comp 7's. Um, I believe they run 130 at REI. Um, I happen to get a good deal. They screwed up one of my orders and so they really dropped the price. REI is awesome like that. So I got them on a really good discount but I would easily pay $130 for these shoes. They're super comfortable. These seriously feel like slippers. My feet are never cramped. They got a lot of flex. They're really squishy. And the soles on the inside, the insoles, are like memory foam. So it's seriously like walking on a pillow. I've used these a bunch of times already and no problems. Um, the lace system is a lot different than other lace systems. And basically you just pull this little string right here in order to tighten or loosen it and then you don't really have to worry about it getting caught up. It's actually got a garage right here. So that's that. Super comfortable. Get shoes that work for you. Make sure they're comfortable in the store. If they hurt at all in the store, try on every single pair till one does not hurt your foot while you're in the store. Um, awesome shoes, no break in time. I just hiked in them and had no, no issue. Socks, um, I just went to the REI sales, so I got Smart Walls. I had Smart Walls before and they're awesome. This is their newer version um, it's called a PhD and from what I understand it's the heel and the toe area where you step is um, wool on wool now rather than just wool on synthetic um, I guess the wool on synthetic was wearing the sock out quicker than it should so now it's wool wool plus it's a lot thicker so way more comfortable I wore these one day in my regular shoes and they were pretty awesome so I think these will work out well I typically bring uh, three pairs of socks on a four day trip. Um, usually I bring two or three pairs, even if I'm going just for the weekend, um, one to sleep in, two to hike in. It's pretty much what I do, that's what's worked for me. A lot of people will just wash their socks and hang them at night and then wear them the next day um, and just have two pairs, one for sleeping and one for walking. Um, I like that one extra pair just in case, you never know. What if you get wet and you're hiking, then you have to like, them. I'd rather just take my shoes off, put the other ones on, let these dry. So that's what I use for that, Smart Wool, REI. Um, I got them on sale, so they're 30% uh, off, um, but typically they're gonna run you anywhere from 15 to $20, uh, depending on obviously thickness, size, and um, brand that you get, because Darn Tough is a little bit more expensive than the Smart Wool, and then of course you can get the REI brand, which works well, and they're a lot less cheaper. Um, I go mid-range, um, that's just what I like shirt just a wicking shirt this is just a champion wicking shirt um, you can get North Face or whatever 
thirty, forty dollars. Um, if you have the money and you don't care, do it. If not, Champion at Target, Walmart. Um, you can get these for like twelve dollars. So no big deal. Super cheap. I carry a little wallet, so I switch my wallet out from my regular one because I don't need you know all the credit cards and whatever else is in in those wallets. I just put a little, my ID, one credit card, and some cash, and that's all I need. So I make it a lot smaller. It's way more comfortable as well for sitting in just in general. I think I got this on Amazon for like five bucks. So it's called Max Pendington um, and hard use gear, Max Pendington. So that's what I got, works well for me. This is a knife, I've had it for like two years now, or a year, or a year and a half, something like that. Um, it's got a little light on it, and it's got a little striker, emergency fire striker, a window breaker, a cutter right here. It's got a good, pretty good blade. Girlfriend gave me this. It's a bit on the heavy side, so I might get a new one this year, but I carry this on a daily basis everywhere I go, this goes, so I'm pretty used to it. So. If I get a new one for my birthday, which is coming up, that's why we're going, um, then I will might carry a lighter one. This is my belt. You just get a little tiny belt. I mean, the smallest you could find. You can get them on Amazon for sure. Um, and the smaller, the better, because the bigger belts like this, they get caught up in the, um, what's it called? The uh, hip belt right here. And they just push on your stomach and they're super uncomfortable. So this works out a lot, lot better. So really small belt. Um, really flexible so it's uh, super lightweight as well these are the pants these are just uh, standard zip off turn into shorts two cargo pants um, got them on sale I believe normally they're like 60 bucks at REI or 30 I think I got them for like 35 I like the zip offs <clears throat> because um, one I just don't hike in shorts uh, but if I do go to a lake and it's really nice, I could just take these off and have shorts at the lake. But while I'm hiking, I like pants. If I get a little hot, um, I just unzip them a little bit. And then that lets that airflow go in there. <coughs> and these pants are awesome as well for, uh, you just unzip this right here. And you don't have to take your shoe or your boot off to get the pant leg off. So that helps out a lot. But um, super quick drying and really, really light. So even if I went swimming in these and I didn't bring board shorts, these would dry off in you know, the same amount of time as board shorts, if not quicker. That's what I'll be wearing. Um, pretty much that's all I'm bringing besides maybe one extra shirt and you know two pairs of socks and a long sleeve, which you'll see here in a minute. Now getting to the bag, I have the Atmos AG65 by Osprey. Um, the bag weighs in and let me check my notes uh, the bag is uh, four pounds and uh, four pounds six ounces so not the lightest bag but by far the most comfortable bag I've ever put on my back this thing is amazing even fully loaded it's it, you I have no problems with it and I've done several trips with it it's really comfortable bag I mean it's just amazing quality on this bag right here and it's massive so this one I know for sure if I do like the JMT I have no problem fitting all my stuff in here. Um, on the very back side, there's these straps, and that holds my tent. Um, this is not the regular bag that it goes in. I actually have the um, Kelty Grand Mesa 2, so it's a two person tent. Um, right now, on Kelty, I believe they're $120, which is an awesome deal. They weigh, um, I believe this weighs three pounds and um, three or four pounds. And uh, it's been an amazing tent. I slept in it once actually, and it was in a downpour, no leaks. It has seam tape on all the seams and I didn't have any issues with it and plenty of room for two people. My last one was a bit tight. So this is the Kelty Grand Mesa 2, um, 120 bucks. I think that's an amazing deal because most tents out there like North Faces and Marmots and Mountain Hardwares are all in like $200, $300, $400 dollar range. So if you're looking for a really durable tent that will get the job done, this is the one. So I love that tent so far. On the very outside pockets, I do carry two metal ones. I know a lot of people do just the plastic bottles and then toss them when they're done with their trip, like a smart water bottles. Those seem to be very popular. I guess they're very durable and I've used those before um, 
I'm just using these this time. This thing doesn't even weigh an ounce. It's actually made for backpacking. Um, I don't know the brand, actually, I found it. Oh, it's called Lincoln. And I don't know, I just found it at a party that I was at and it really doesn't even weigh an ounce. So this is for adult beverage, which is always necessary at the end of the trail. Reward yourself. Not sure the price, like I said, I found it. You can get these at Walmart for like a couple bucks, you know, whatever. And this thing weighs uh, two ounces. I like it because the flip top lid is easy to drink. I don't have to unscrew and then drink it and screw it back down like a Nalgene or anything like that. So this works out for me. And the only thing I use this for is flavor packets. So when I'm at camp and I'm done hiking for the day, I have to have flavor. So I do flavor packets. I have a few right here because I just got them yesterday, but what these ones are is my girlfriend found these at it's called Costco and these are called uh, eco drink and basically what it is is it's a multivitamin drink packet and they have all different flavors these ones happen to be blueberry pomegranate and mango peach and they're they taste really really good and they're just packed full of vitamins so um, good idea to have something like this on the trail. If not, do something with like uh, electrolytes in it. Um, Gatorade, you can do that. Uh, Gatorade's a little bit bigger packets, and um, so I really don't like having that big uh, packet because I won't use the whole thing in here, and I'll have to flip it over or put it in a Ziploc bag. It's just messy. So one of these is perfect amount for this with water, and that's just what works for me so vitamin packets or anything with electrolytes uh, preferably electrolytes that is a uh, key for hydration because you will be working your body as you know uh, let's see in this top pouch right here in the stretchy pouch such an awesome thing I have on a bag most bags do not have this so this is a great feature I carry a bandana for obvious reasons um, you can there's multiple purposes for this blow your nose wipe your face if you're sweating um, whatever, if you've got a really gnarly cut, you can use it for bandage. Multiple, multiple use. This is my headlamp. I actually just got this. It's a um, Pitzel and it is 180 looms. The three AAA batteries, um, it is very, very bright. I won't turn it on because it blinds. And um, it has two settings, three, no, three settings on the white and then two settings on red, regular red and then flashy red so you can like, signal people or something like that. I really like this headlamp and believe me, I searched headlamps. I probably tried every single one of them on. I used to use the Energizer because it was cheap and I had it. It works. This is way better. And a lot thicker band. It's really um, soft right here. So having it against your forehead is super comfortable to have and it's really, it's really light. Um, I've used it several times now. I haven't changed the batteries yet, so we'll see how long they last. Always bring extra batteries. I bring an adventure camera just as a backup. I use the GoPro Hero 4 to do all the filming, and then my girlfriend has a really nice uh, cam camera that she uses and takes the pictures, so I integrate her pictures with my video and make videos uh, for, you know, just for me. I'm not a I'm not very good at it and my editing's okay, but I just do it so that my family that's not around and my friends that don't get to go can see. So this is just a backup. Plus this takes really good panoramic pictures. It's a, uh, I think it's made by Pentex and it was a gift from my mom. So I'm not sure the price on it, probably like in the hundred dollar range somewhere around there, but it's waterproof, dust proof, sand proof, it's shock proof. So this is a really good tool to have. Um, anything else fails it records it takes pictures it has everything so you can use that and it's pretty lightweight this right here is just a folding shovel army surplus store is a great place to get backpacking gear um, seriously like the little things like a shovel like this I mean a dollar and then I got some wool gloves which if I see for like two bucks so you can get the little odds and ends and things like that at army surpluses and even thrift stores so that's awesome so that's the shovel we know what the shovel's for this is my catadine hiker it's not the pro it's the catadine hiker water filtration system i know there's lighter systems out there um such as the sawyer mini and the sawyer squeeze um i don't 
think that that's for me. If I was gonna go by myself, it might be okay to use that. Um, but I'm always with at least one or two people and they might not have pumps. So this is a lot more efficient. Um, plus with the um, Sawyer, um, from the videos I see and the people that use them, they have to be back flush, they clog a lot, the bags break. So there's a lot of variables that can go wrong with those systems. So this one, there's really nothing that can go wrong. I mean, I don't really see it even getting clogged because this little end piece that goes in the water has this outer piece for protection and then a, a smaller micro screen inside of here. So sand and like moss and things like that won't go up into the into the tube and clog up the filter or the tubing itself. So I really, this thing's super efficient. It's been amazing. Um, we've used it several times over and it's never failed or had any kind of issues. And then I just bring a handkerchief with it. So if it does have an issue, I can, you know, wipe it out. If I really filtered nasty water, I'll take that filter out and wipe the inside if I had to. So probably not in the stairs because all that water is super clean. So this is the, uh, Catadine um, Hiker, again, I got it for $50 on Amazon. I'm not sure of the weight, it probably weighs like a pound. It's it's not light, so if you wanna go more light, then go ahead and go with the squeeze. Just uh, make sure you bring that back flusher thing, because I've heard some stories about it failing, and you know. There's also that Ultra Wand, or the Violet Wand, or whatever it's called, that um, you put it in the water, but I mean, that, is a type of electronic and if that goes bad you're, you're kind of you gotta leave because you're not gonna be able to filter water or just boil it I guess which takes forever this is a medical kit I like to keep it in a little um, stuff sack just to keep it compact and you know together I just like that this is just um, some gold bond I just put it in a little spice jar um, get the big one and then put this in a little spice jar so it's not a lot but this believe me this little jar right here is plenty for what i'm doing you don't need a lot just you know a little bit of, a little bit goes a long way for that and then of course keep it inside of a ziploc bag so it doesn't get wet there's band-aids in here and gauze and ear swabs a little bit of medical tape i bring um some day quill assorted pills like ibuprofen and Excedrin and um, I do bring some um, Tylenol PMs in here just in case I'm having a hard time going to sleep. and then you know just that type of stuff butterfly bandages just real, ba real basic an ace bandage to wrap around your leg that actually sticks to itself just in case like twist an ankle or something like that and then also inside of here I do have a little bit heavier things like uh, oxycodone just in case if you break an ankle or you roll your ankle really bad, it's pretty much the only thing that's gonna get you out of there. So I have not had to use those, but if I had to, I do have some of the stronger painkillers and um, migraine headache and stuff like that. So real basic, everybody should carry a medical kit. If you don't, you're, I'm sorry, you're an idiot. Wet ones, um, we're only going four days or four nights, so 20 wet ones that are buck, Walmart. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, moleskins, I'm not prone to blisters, but they don't really weigh anything, and if I got one, I got it. So, moleskins work out really well. This is my little lure kit, because we are going to the Sierras and lakes that I could fish, so this is the lure kit. I don't bring too many, just a couple. Um, these yellow ones right here, have been amazing. So if you're going to the Sierras, this is a number six Panther Martin, and these are just so awesome. I have not had any lake that I haven't caught a fish out of with this thing right here. So that's pretty, pretty spectacular. And then I use just smaller ones of the same thing for the little stream. So this would be, the bigger ones are number sixes, and then these are number ones, or you can use a number zero as well for uh, fishing the streams. And um, you don't need to use too much because those fish, I mean, they only get like this big. So brooks and golden trout is what you're catching out there. Pretty spectacular coloring on them though. And then hand warmers, why not? That's it on the top. Everything that you saw that was on the top, 
I put it here on purpose. Um, it's stuff that I'm gonna need like right then and there. You know, if you get a blister, you just want that stuff right there. You don't have to dig for it. So be smart on how you pack your bag as well. Wet ones, same thing. Filtration, the same thing in a medical kit, all right here. So if something happens, I can get that right away and handle whatever situation. On the side of this bag, it's got two monster um, outer pockets. I mean, they're real, they'll fit all my clothes probably for a week. I'm not kidding. That's how big they are. I have this little light. I do a little green light. And basically I use this just for, this is one of my luxury items. This is why my bag weighs 35 pounds. Um, but I like it and it's comforting and I don't have to use a headlamp the whole time. I could just hang this up in my tent. And if we want to read a book or something, this puts off plenty of light. Amazon, $6. And I believe they have white and blue as well. I just obviously like green, so that's what I do. Um, long sleeve shirt, once again, it's just a champion long sleeve shirt. I believe I got it on sale because uh, Sports Chalet and Sports Authority are going out of business. So I think I got this for like 20 bucks. I think normal, no, I don't think less, like 15 bucks. I think normally it's like 25. It's just a lightweight uh, wicking. And um, this works out perfect for morning hikes and hiking in the evening or just hanging out, you know, by the fire. If it's a little chilly at night, this thing's awesome. Love it. I only bring one of those. The socks, like I said, I bring, I'm going to be bringing three pairs of socks on this trip. I got one long pair, cruise socks. I got these at the Army Surplus as well. And these ones were like $6. And I believe they're called Boston. And, um, six bucks 100 percent wool they're they're a little bit thicker than the ankle socks so if it's cold i'll be wearing these if it's regular i'll be wearing those or wear these while i wash those vice versa so pretty uh simple basic wool always wool and then these wool ones are smart wool these are the thicker smart wools um, i believe these are the thickest they make just for sleeping i don't hike in these um i just wear these for sleeping and that's it so once i get in the tent you know clean up my feet you know wet wipes or whatnot and then put these on when i'm done for the night so super comfortable for me to sleep in socks while i'm hiking um just want to stay warm and this does the trick for me so something to think about thermals uh pants and and top these are not your traditional thermals um these are going to be a little, uh, really uh tight and they are uh, fleece lined, so these are super warm. This was a gift from the girlfriend. So, uh, actually, girlfriend's parents bought these for me, and I don't know how much they cost. They don't weigh very much, I'll tell you that, and they're super warm. So, thermals are a must, and I only sleep in those. I will not hike in those. It's way too warm. Hatch kit for my air bed and a fire permit. Gotta have a fire permit in Southern California. Gloves. So I bring work gloves, Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever your hardware store is. I think these were like five bucks. I just uh, prefer to set up camp and move rocks and break twigs and things like that with a pair of uh, gloves so I don't rip up my hands. Keep your hands and your feet, you know, safe and you'll have a good time. Extra pair of compression shorts. So I bring two of those. That's it on the side pouch. The other side is my rain gear. And I just got this jacket. It's a no, no brand. Um, you can get North Face or whatever, but you're going to look at two, three hundred dollars for a rain jacket. Um, I got this for 20 bucks. No big, I mean, it's just same thing. Why spend the money if you don't, you don't have to? You don't have to get North Face to go hiking, believe me. You don't have to get Marmot or Mountain Hardware. No, you know, those brands are great, but an off-brand for 20 bucks, it does the same exact thing and has the same features, same material. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And then same thing with the pants. These are like 10 years old. I believe they're Eddie Bauer, actually. So I've had these forever. They work. I don't get wet. And I very rarely have to wear them because if you're hiking, you don't want to take this completely off and then put pants on and take the pants on and off, it's a pain. Plus our hiking pants themselves dry very quick. So as soon as it stops raining, they'll probably be dry in 15 minutes. So no, no issue there. 
100% DEET, so mosquitoes. I use 100% DEET. Some people don't like it, obviously. It's a chemical and dangerous and stuff like that. But, I mean, dangerous as far as if you put it in your mouth or something like that. You don't want to get it in your mouth. But this is what works. And I'm just going to keep them away and not have to use something that doesn't work. So, 100% DEET for me. Toothpaste. There's a toothbrush in here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Just a little collapsible toothbrush. I like this style because it keeps that brush clean because let's face it, you're walking around in dirt and stuff. So there's dirt in here and whatnot. So this keeps it nice and clean for me. And I don't have to put another extra Ziploc bag. So from the very top, oh, one more thing that was on the side, mosquito head net. If you're hiking in the Sierras, it's a must. I mean, it is a must. You will encounter mosquitoes at one point if you like the Sierras. If you don't, you are the lucky one. In the very top, I keep my packable down jacket. This was a gift as well. I believe it was about 50 bucks on Amazon. Again, North Face and everybody else makes these, but not for 50 bucks. Same material, same down, same fill. This is 95% down, that's more than enough. Uh, at $50, this thing keeps me plenty warm. Um, you could even probably go down a little bit if you're a warm person and you spend, you know, $35 or something. But 50 bucks, I think that's affordable for a down jacket. Um, and I've had no issues. Josh Petri, I use this. I use this on New Year's and Anza Borrego. I was plenty warm. So that's my jacket. Scarf. This scarf goes with me everywhere. So I don't ever you know even my day bag i have this thing 101 uses for a scarf obviously you can get it wet keep yourself cool um you can use it for sunshade i mean you could rig it over something like a tree or something and you can get a little bit more shade block whatever you want to do lots of uses for that b thrift store i think i got it for a buck um, this I've only used once. I tried it out in uh, Joshua Tree to charge the GoPro camera and it worked perfect. It's a Goal Zero. Um, I believe they're like 70 to 80 dollars and they have all kinds of uh, different stuff. I actually have a um, portable rechargeable speaker. The speaker is phenomenal. It, the sound in it is amazing and I believe that thing's like 60 bucks. I won it in a contest. Um, and the battery charge this thing will charge that thing in two hours and the battery lasts for 20 hours of playtime and then I ended up going online and getting the Philips little mp3 player and that thing will play 24 hours straight and it holds like 2,000 songs so plenty of music we'll only have to charge it maybe once we don't listen to that much music out there so goal zero I think 70 to 80 dollars I think you can get them at adventure 16 or maybe Best Buy. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, it was a present. The great thing about this charger is on the back, it has a little pouch and it has all of the plugs integrated right into it. So this is the adapter for, this goes on here, and this is the adapter for 12 volt. So you can plug in, you can charge USB, you can link these together. So if somebody else in your group had one of these, you can actually link them together and get more power and charge more things more rapidly. So this charges absolutely everything. It only charges when the sun's on it. So if you like to have an extra battery pack, then bring it and this thing can charge it and then you'll have that during the day. So if you happen to run out, you can plug in real quick. But this could just sit right here and charge all day long. It has plenty of loops on it. So this thing's awesome. I can't thank my mom enough for that one this is my cook set or kitchen if you want to call it that the pots themselves we got on Amazon they were $12 you don't have to have a massive cook set you know um, you just don't a lot of the food we're cooking obviously is just boil pour sit for a few minutes eat it so especially if you're doing mountain houses or packet gourmets Things like that, just boil a couple cups of water, throw it in the bag, wait 10 minutes and then eat it. So you don't really need pots and pans and things like that. So don't 
backpacking, you don't need to do that stuff. I bring a handkerchief, half of a handkerchief, just to uh, clean it out because it's just top ramen or boiled water, so that's all I need to have. Uh, eating tools, it's just the uh, jet foil set. It's a telescoping spatula, telescoping spoon. It's pretty, it's pretty long, it's long enough to get in a bag or a bowl. And then a fork, you know. Do I need all of them? Maybe not. They're light enough, so I don't care. We're doing pancakes this time, that's why I'm bringing a spatula. I, excuse me, I typically use a spoon the whole entire time, but I am doing noodles this time, so I'm just gonna bring it all. It's, seriously, this weighs like maybe an ounce. So very lightweight. Um, I bring olive oil and then camp soap or Dr. Bronner's. Those are the two that I prefer to use. Um, whatever flavor Bronner's you like. Blue for soap and then the black for the oil. And these are Mio Fits. You know, the little Mio Fit squeeze things uh, and a drink enhancer. You just undo the top, fill it up, oops, and then push it right back down. And then you got it all. So, good thing I had that, huh? I just poured some uh, oil on the deep. Anyways, moving on. I do the drink packets like I said before. I had those um, eco drinks. <clears throat> I also have what I was talking about, electrolytes. Um, Tang makes a, uh, I guess it's called Tang Sport. And it has electrolytes in it. And once again, I like these little packets because one of these to this with water is the perfect amount. It's not too potent and it's not too weak. And this one happens to be lemon lime, but they also have fruit punch and other flavors as well. And then a little instant coffee. I don't really drink coffee, but what I did discover that I like is the refreshers from Starbucks. Um, those things are just like having coffee. They're full of caffeine. So if you don't like coffee, the refreshers are a good alternate. It's like having an energy drink um, that you just pour in, drink some water, and you're done. So drink packets are a must for me. This is just a little dairy creamer. Um, hot sauces. Hot sauces and um, things like that you can get from like 7-Eleven or AM, PM. So you can get mayo packets that don't need to be cold. You can get mustard, relish, onions. Um, to, uh, what's it called? Cholula and Capatillo. Um, this sriracha was uh, from a uh, pho takeout place. So, seems to me like the oil spilt in here. Anyways, this is my stove. It's a uh, MSR Pocket Rocket. Um, I had the cheaper version of this thing, like the knockoff. It worked well. I've always wanted this, and so I just finally this year said, screw it, I'm gonna get it. It was on sale, that was another reason that I got it. So normally these things are like 35 or $40, and I believe that I got it for uh, $25. <laughs> I think that's a smoking deal for this stove, um, since it's so popular. So I've not used it yet, so I'm super light. I mean, this thing weighs like maybe two ounces, if that. So, and another reason why I like the uh, pocket rocket is because it fits in my cook set. I like everything in my cook set to be together so I don't have to dig at different places to find different things. Once I open this up, I have everything I need to cook with, that is. A little sew kit. Um, I don't keep it in the medical kit um, because I like. I feel like it's safer in here and the needle, if it comes out or whatnot, I'm going to see it. Uh, little needles fit inside of here and this so this type of thread is made for upholstery so um, it's a little thicker so if you have a tear in your bag or your tent or something like that I, I think that this might be a little bit more durable to hold up as a matter of fact I actually sewed this up right here and it's been holding so the thicker thread is the way to go regular thread is not going to be as durable little tea bags um, so these just happen to be little Lipton ones. The bags themselves are kind of fragile, so I put them in this little Ziploc bag, keep them from falling apart and having tea everywhere. A little packet of sugar, which I never use, a moist towelette, um, some waterproof matches, and a little backup knife, has a little can opener on it, a little knife and a little finger file. And then this is just a napkin. This could be for a fire starter, wipe your face with your nose. Um, I would probably most likely use this for a fire starter. 
best thing that I've seen is lip balm all over it and then light it and that thing should go for a long enough period of time in order to get your fire started. So that's the cook set. Pretty basic. I mean, that whole cook set, like the pots themselves, like I said, are $12 and they weigh 11 ounces. So super light. Now this is everybody's nightmare. Nobody likes to carry this. It's the Bear Vault, Bear Vault 500. $70 on Amazon. Um, my roommate was nice enough to buy this for me. Pretty stoked on that. So that saved me 70 bucks. Um, it's big, it's cumbersome. I think it weighs like 2.9 or three pounds. And it's just a pain to carry, but you have to do it in the Sierras anywhere. And the John, Wilder John Muir Wilderness and Amsel Adams, you have to carry this thing. It's the law. If you get caught without it, you I hope you got money because it's not cheap food wise i won't go through all this um one is enough they're all the same obviously different meals but it's packet gourmet so packetgourmet.com these are so delicious these are vastly superior over mountain houses um these are really really delicious they have all kinds of different meals they have breakfasts and they have smoothies and you know they have like Pretty much everything that you need they do summer sausages and cheeses and things like that as well so packet gourmet is the way that i go it's really easy it's boil water put it in the bag wait a few minutes eat it right out of the bag <coughs> pretty awesome excuse me so about six to eight bucks per meal depending on what meal you get and then of course good old top ramen and my girlfriend bought extra veggies so sriracha, extra veggies, and have a nice little meal out of that. Um, Packet Gourmet also does um, top ramen. It's called Ramen Rescue, and they actually give you the option to put veggies and dehydrated chicken in it as well. So that's pretty awesome. I got one of those as well. And then oatmeal, and I just put a little pack of, uh, a little small pack of raisins inside my oatmeal to make it a little more interesting. And then of course, good old tuna. Tuna's pretty heavy, but it's really good and it's packed with protein. And it's, you know, this has three servings at, you know, 60 a serving. So, you know, close to 200 calories right here. So that's a really awesome lunch. And what I like to do is I go and get the Hawaiian rolls and I swish them down in a Ziploc, so they're real small. And then I'll just slice those, put tuna. It's super good. It makes it the boring tuna, not so boring. Plus. Like I said before, the um, all the little packets you can get from 7-Eleven. So pick up some relish and pick up some onions and throw it in that tuna. Perfect. It makes it a lot better, believe me. Because eating tuna for a few days over and over gets boring really, really quick. So I think, believe the bear vaults. Yeah, $70, 2.9 ounces just for the vault. And then you're looking at like a pound and a half of food per day, roughly. Uh, if you're a bigger guy, you're gonna probably eat two pounds of food per day. I typically am right around 1,800 calories a day, if not a little bit more. Um, that's just what works for me. You know, that might not be enough for other people, but I kind of did some calculations yesterday, and if at very most i'm probably doing 2,000 calories you know but they say about two pounds a day but i feel like a pound and a half a day is good for me plus it'll save a little weight and believe me i'm not hungry so you can always snack so i bring granola bars beef jerky uh pistachios jolly ranchers m ms things like that so i always have that as well if i get a little munchies through the trail pretty much almost empty in here I have wool gloves once again I got these for two dollars at the army surplus so things like this. this is what I'm talking about the little add-on things the little gloves and socks and work gloves and beanies and you can even get thermals there I mean there's canteens there's cook sets all kinds of stuff like that two bucks for pure wool socks is awesome this is my bed it's a blow-up bed it's a um, Archer Outdoor Gear, that's the name of it. Um, the, bat, the bed itself, I don't know if it has a name. It's just from Archer Outdoor Gear. 
Amazon. Um, the pad itself is 1.8 pounds and it's uh, $37. So a little on the heavy side. I had the Scout before, but unfortunately my cat destroyed it. But this one is a little thicker. Um, so Scout's really small. This one's probably about almost an inch and a half thick. So super comfortable. The material is amazing on this thing. I don't, it's gonna be hard to pop this if it pops at all. So I feel very confident. I've slept on it uh, several times now. And I'm a side sleeper. No problem bottoming out. So Archer outdoor gear. I really like this uh, sleeping pad um, and blow up. I have the Z light. I slept on it once. I hated it. I'll never sleep on that thing again. This right here is Osprey. This is the three liter. So this thing's a monster, but this is what I prefer. Um, I don't have to fill it all the way up, but I have the option. So if I'm going a little bit further and I know water's further, I'm going to get there. Um, hard pack on the back so it's really durable um, the only downfall is it's a little heavy um, I believe this thing's a half a pound uh, give or take I think if I'm not mistaken the two liter is exactly a half a pound so if you're looking to go a little bit lighter then use those smart water bottles just toss them when you're done you carry the same amount of water but you'll have a little bit less weight um, I just prefer the straw to be right there and available I'll have to Try and fumble around and get the thing and open it up and drink it. I just put this in my mouth, drink, keep walking, and it's like no problem. This has a little magnet on it, so it sits right on my chest. So I just grab it, sit, put it right back. This is what I like. Three liter, I prefer. That is inside the bag, empty. <clears throat> Bottom is where obviously the, the sleeping bag goes. I got a brand new sleeping bag. <clears throat> REI is having under sale, so I went and got a down sleeping bag. I used to use the um, synthetic, and it was awesome because you could wash it, and down you couldn't really wash before, but now Kelty has come up with this uh, dry down, so the down has actually been treated, so now it's water resistant and it dries quicker, so you don't have to worry about wet conditions so you can use this in three seasons now so yeah if we're stepping it up <clears throat> now I get a down bag because they're they're just way more comfortable they're softer they're just nicer they pack down smaller they're lighter my other sleeping bag because it's synthetic four pounds this one is two pounds um, same um, 20 degree 20 degree one's four pounds because it's synthetic and then the one's two pounds because it is down so I never used to use a compression bag. I just shove it in there and then squish everything on top of my bag. Uh, but because this pack's so small, I'm definitely going to get a compression sack for it. This is just what it comes with, which packs it down pretty small, but you can get it down just a little bit more. It'll just give me a little bit more room back here for knickknacks. So, Kelty down 20 degree. Haven't used it yet. Um, I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Gas. Um, if you didn't know, two of these little ones equals a mid-size one of these, and it's lighter. So it has just as much gas. I mean, it's a smidge off, but it's lighter to have two of these than one of the bigger ones. So that's why I'm doing that. Uh, plus, it's just what I had. One of these might be efficient enough, but there's two of us, and you never know. So it's light enough, it's not that much. Pillow. My pillow is a Eros um, Sea to Summit. I'll just leave it in this bag, but it's a Sea to Summit. It's the regular size. Um, I don't know how much it costs because I got it as a present. I'm thinking like 35 or maybe 40 bucks for the bigger one. It packs down obviously very, very, very small. Um, it's super comfortable. It only takes a couple of breaths to blow it up, so no big deal. And if you blow it up too much, it has a little valve release. You don't have to let all the air out. It's just a nice, it's a nice pillow. It's also got a curve on it, so it goes right into your neck and shoulder. You know, kind of like a neck roll would. Um, so super comfortable and lightweight. I don't, this thing probably weighs an ounce, so I'm bringing a pillow. Like I said, one more of my comfort thing, so I really don't care about super lightweight it doesn't really bother me to have a little bit of weight 
pack cover. Um, everybody knows what that is. This is a rain guard. That's all it is. I got this rain guard on Amazon. Uh, it doesn't even weigh an ounce, and I got it on Amazon for $5. If you buy the Osprey one, it's like $25 or $30. You know, you go out and spend the money. I got this on sale, so it was $220, but actually I got this as a gift for my girlfriend, so I really only spent minimal money on it, and she pretty much paid for it. But, I mean, at 260 regular price, why can't they throw in a pack cover? They charge you another $30 on top of that? It's kind of lame if you ask me. But go to Amazon, same thing, pack cover, four bucks, five bucks. In here, um, I have my uh, paracord, 550 paracord, and a couple carabiners to hook it to whatever or use it for a clothesline or whatever you want to do. I believe this is like maybe 80 feet. Um, this bag, the only reason it's in this bag, I don't need it, but what I use this bag for is my toiletries and any like thing that like smells so I can get this up in a tree, um, get it away from the bears, cause, you know, anything like that. Even deet and all that stuff goes up into the tree if it doesn't fit into the bear vault itself. So red for a reason obviously you can see it so be smart if you hang up a black one you gotta find it at night for whatever reason good luck so that is it that's everything that i am bringing um the only other thing that isn't on this bag is that on the top it has two covers one is this small one and then you have the optional bigger bag so if you're going on a super long trip like JMT, look, I mean, this thing's massive. So I haven't used it yet. I, I think it might be too, too much overkill. So, I mean, it really, I, I mean, I could fit so much of this just in here alone. This bag is just monster. So good idea for them to be able to make it removable so you don't have to have this you know extra half pound on your on your bag if you don't need it and right now everything fits in there and it's not even maxed out so i'm not going to be using this yet maybe next year this is everything i bring so hopefully this helps this is 100 percent everything for a four-day trip so get out there have some fun hike some trails outdoor life get some